Assalamualaikum. Uh, my question is, Sheikh, uh, that I read somewhere that uh, if a woman uh, claims that she was raped and she's not able to come up with uh, four witnesses, and so and then she gets the punishment according to uh, if she's married or not, flogging or stoning. Is this uh, true or not? Is this hypothetical Salihin or a case that is existing? Uh, I have read that it's like so probably like a hypothetical scenario. Okay, well, what's the what's the reason? So usually this is what happens: people post something that's hypothetical, and then all of a sudden we have two teams, two parties, one defending the opinion and the other bashing Islam and saying bad things about Islam. And the original person who posted this is getting all the sins. Why did you ask such a question? Oh, uh, uh, nothing serious. I just thought of, you know, stirring the water a little bit and, and doing this and, and watching what happens. So watch out not to open the Pandora box. Watch out not to open something that would be fitna for others. Now, because you've posted the question already, whether you get the synth or not, this is not to me to uh, uh, state, but I'll answer you. A woman comes forward <clears throat> stating that this man has raped me. So the forensic uh, um, services or whatever, the police or, uh, uh, come and investigate medical reports. They, she has been violated and raped. Do we have any DNA proofs, etc.? We may, we may not. Now, to the Muslim judge, I have a woman with medical reports or without, claiming that this individual has raped her. I bring this individual and I say, did you? She said, no. She said, you did. He says, no. And by the way, she took $2 million from me. Did you take $2 million from him? She says, no. I said, well, touche. So it's her word against his. Why would I believe her when she's accusing someone? And this one, we don't have evidences. So what evidences do you want, Sheikh? We need four male witnesses to testify and, 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 and say that we witnessed it. This is not possible, Sheikh. Okay, then we need him to confess. Sheikh is not going to confess. So how would I allow this to happen and accuse this innocent man who could be innocent and he could not. Okay, Sheikh, we have DNA test that proves that he committed something like that. In this case, the Muslim judge puts him in jail, uh, tries to pressure him until he confesses uh, or put him in jail indefinitely, six, 10 years, 20 years, because we have DNA test, but DNA test is not sufficient evidence to stone him to death or to flog him a hundred lashes. These are circumstantial evidences. But if there is no DNA and there is no proof except her word against his, they, he has the right to say, Sheikh, she slandered me. I'm an honest, law-abiding citizen. I'm the Imam of the Masjid. I have children. I have a wife. I have a family. And she accused me out of thin air. No evidence is nothing. No witnesses. In this case, this woman who claimed something and could not prove it would be flogged 80 lashes for her slandering an innocent person. But Sheikh, she was raped. That's what you say. Prove it to me. I can't come to someone who claims that your father raped her and do this process and you wouldn't even accept it. Oh, my father doesn't do any such thing. Just because a random person came and accused him of that. I hope this makes sense.